to eating with Rula. Fall is my favorite season of the year for many reasons. I love the weather, the foliage, the apple picking, but the biggest reason is the eating. I love the eating. Eating pumpkin pie, pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin soup, and what we're making today, pumpkin cake with a cream cheese frosting. It's delicious, it's moist, it's tasty, and if you love pumpkins as much as I do, then I promise you're gonna love this cake. So why don't we get started? First, what we're gonna need is two and a half cups of flour. I've measured here two cups of flour, and I just wanted to show you, in case you were not familiar with measuring flour, that when you measure the flour, you don't want it to be a heaping cup of flour. You don't want to pack it in. You just want to do something like this. You want to take out the excess flour, and you've got here my half a cup of flour. Okay? Then, to that, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Oh, and one more thing, we're gonna to have to add three quarters of a teaspoon, which I've already measured out, of cinnamon. So we're gonna put that all in. We are going to mix it all together, just like so. And then we're gonna just leave it because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over there and we're going to do our butter mixture. So that's set. It's ready to go over here into our butter mixture. For this part, you are going to need two and a quarter sticks of butter. I know it sounds like a lot, but I promise it is delicious. And you're going to have to soften your butter. Now, you can do it one of two ways. You can either take the butter out an hour to two hours ahead of time, or if you're really, you know, in a rush and you haven't thought of doing it ahead of time, which is sometimes what I do, I pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute so that it's really soft or even melted sometimes. It's all the same in, in my opinion. So the two, to the two sticks and a quarter butter, we're going to add one cup of white sugar. We're also going to add one cup of brown sugar packed. So when I say packed, this is what it looks like. Remember I said the flour we don't pack? This is packed. This is in the shape of the cup that I had it in. So we really press it into the cup and it comes just like so. So we're going to have the sugars and the butters and I'm going to mix it in my 1970s mixer here until it's light and fluffy. sugar was, you know, it gets hard if you leave it out um, in the air. So here it's now softened up with the butter. And now we're ready to add our next ingredient, which is three eggs. What you want to do here is you're going to mix one in, one egg at a time. And then we're going to beat that also into the mixture, into our butter mixture. And you know, mix it a little bit. And then add your next egg. And beat that again. And then we're going to take the third and final egg and we're going to just mix it in to our butter mixture. Like so. So when you see that the eggs have become well incorporated into your butter mixture like it is right now, 
it's looking nice, it's, you can't see any part of the eggs. We are going to add our next ingredient, the one that makes it taste so delicious, our pumpkin puree. You are going to need one can of pumpkin, pu pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie mix, but puree. So let's put that in, the whole can. drop in there because I don't want to lose any of it because I love, I love this, I love this. So now we're going to just mix that in. Oh, I can smell the pumpkins. And I'm getting excited. I want it to cook. Mm, I love it. And if you love pumpkins, you're going to be enjoying this part, smelling the butter and the pumpkin. So we've mixed that up, as you can see. Once that's happened, you're going to take your flour mixture and you're going to add in a little bit of flour at a time, okay? You don't want to do too much and you want to incorporate everything in slowly so all the ingredients have a chance to uh, meld into one another, to absorb one another. So mix in a little bit at a time, like so. bit more. And I always do my mixer on mix as opposed to whip because I don't like all my ingredients flying all over the place. I have yet to get one of those professional mixers I'm dying to get where I can do all my mixing in a professional manner. So we've got that. And then we're going to add the last bit of flour. And then we're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. So while you're doing that, or before we're starting everything, what I, I would, should have mentioned is that I need you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Once you've done that, once everything is mixed, you can just pop it in the oven. We have two more ingredients to add to this. You want to scrape the sides just to make sure that all of the flour has been incorporated into the pumpkin. Okay, so it has. We are looking good. We're going to take these guys. Next, we're going to add, if you love nuts, three quarters of a cup of walnuts. Put that in there. Three quarters cup of raisins. Put that in there. And then we're going to mix it with a spoon all up, just like so. See how it's smooth and fluffy? And if you could smell it like I am, you would say, oh, I can't wait for it to cook. So we're ready now.